The new chapter has been revealed in the PTB and we have a new killer, new survivor, and a new map variation of Ormond. It's important to note the new map variation is not out for release with this chapter. It'll be released in a future update. The new killer is the Houndmaster or Portia May and she's accompanied by her best friend Snug and yes, you can pet Snug. Portia is a 115 killer which means she walks at the same speed of Trapper. For reference, survivors walk at 100% movement speed. Portia has two main abilities, search and chase. She uses Snug to help her catch and find survivors. Snug will not bite you unless she uses the command chase. During chase, Snug works almost like a hunter's hatchet or a death slinger shot. She doesn't control him while he's running. She can only direct him on where to go. If you dodge the path she sets, then you can dodge Snug. You'll know she's using chase because she will whistle and raise her hand. If she's raising her hand, you know she's aiming Snug, similar to how Huntress can hold a hatchet up. Just like with Huntress, if she's going to use Snug, it's not a good idea to drop the pallet since he can just jump over pallets and windows. If she sends Snug out and you dodge Snug, she can redirect Snug. With redirect, she will go into the POV of Snug, similar to Pinhead's bubble, and she can redirect him on another path. From the survivor POV, there is an audio and visual indicator to let you know she chose redirect, and there's only a small window of opportunity to redirect. So the chase ability is almost like a combination of Huntress and Pinhead in terms of how to dodge him. If you dodge him, he goes on a short cooldown, otherwise you'll get bit by Snug. This is the only time Snug is aggressive. You don't have to worry about Snug biting unless she sent him out in chase. If you get bit, you can get rid of Snug slowly by resisting, but it does take a while. Since Snug is pulling you towards the killer, similar to how Deathslinger rules you in, she's likely gonna get you before you can resist, so the best way to get rid of him in time is by having a teammate help you or by stunning Snug with a pallet. A teammate can run up and free the survivor, which is similar to saving a teammate from a trapper trap. Teamwork is gonna be really cool with this killer since you can and help them get away from the dog. If you get away, you'll get away unharmed since the bite itself doesn't hurt you, just her hitting you. Her other ability is Search. With Search, she sends Snug out to find survivors. Snug will have a red circle around him and if a survivor is touched by that circle, they will give off Killer Instinct, revealing their location and they will be affected by Hound Sense. You can tell if you or a teammate are affected by Hound Sense on the HUD because there will be a red circle around your character's icon. If you're full health and get hit while affected, then you'll get put into Deep Wound. If if you're injured while affected by Hound Sense, then your grunts of pain are louder. And if you're in the dying state while affected, you'll leave longer pools of blood. The range of the search circle varies depending on add-ons. That's pretty much everything you need to know about her abilities. She also comes with three perks. First is all shaking thunder. After the killer falls from a height, your lunge will be increased by 75% for the next 16 seconds. Up next is scorch hook jacked compass. When a survivor is unhooked from a non-scorch hook, it becomes a scorch hook. When you hook a survivor on a scorch hook, the aura of the generator with the most progress is revealed in yellow for 10 seconds. This is mostly helpful for those situations where all your scorches are on one side of the map and it's hard to get to any scourge hooks. And her last perk is no quarter. When a survivor reaches 75% on a self heal, they will have to hit continuous skill checks similar to Merciless Storm, but it's for heals instead of gens. If a survivor missed one of these skill checks or if the heal is interrupted, then the survivor will become broken for 30 seconds. This only affects self heals, so honestly, I think this one needs to be changed to healing in general because it's not that great at the moment since it only punishes self-care and med kits. Now let's talk about the new survivor. The new survivor is Tori Kane. Tori comes with three new perks. The first perk is Invocation Treacherous Crows. When in the basement near the circle, you can start your invocation. Invocations take 60 seconds and they don't work like boons where you can run multiple invocations and apply all invocations. If you run two invocation perks, you'll have to do your invocations twice. Once you complete your invocation, you will become broken for the rest of the match. When a survivor's in terror radius and the killer scares a crow, their aura will be revealed to all survivors for two seconds. Honestly, I don't think the benefit is worth being broken all game. I think invocations could use some adjustments as of now. I don't think either invocations is worth the downside and time investment. And then up next is clean break. After you finish healing another survivor while being healed by another survivor, press the active ability button to become broken. After 60 seconds, you'll become healthy. This is a decent time efficiency perk. If you know the killer is going to be busy for a bit chasing someone else, you can use this to work gens and heal at the same time. The perk doesn't act if you're already broken and it will be canceled if you go into the dying state. Her last perk, Shoulder the Burden, is my favorite. Once per match, as long as you're not on death hook, you can run up to a hook survivor and press the active ability button two to unhook them. Once they're unhooked, they will lose one hook state and you gain one hook state. This is gonna be major for helping your teammates that are being tunneled. You'll scream and become exposed for 20 seconds, but honestly, being able to help spread hooks this way is gonna be such a great counter for tunneling. I'm very excited to be able to help my teammates when they're being tunneled with this perk. That's everything that's coming with a new chapter. Along with the new content, we also get to see some small changes to existing content. Personally, I'm most excited for Meyer's changes,
videos. His new changes encourage stalking from a distance instead of up close. And he got a little buff to his ability and also added more charges to each survivor. Let me know what you think about these changes. Super excited to play this one on release. Okay. She tried to redirect right there, but she didn't end up on the right side, so. Your Twitch is running like bot. Dude, that's so annoying. That's so annoying. Oh my God, we were able to dodge that. Okay, so she's getting really good with her redirect. She's doing a great job at using it, honestly. I like it. Oh, wow. Good job. Remember, you can stun the dog and you can stun the killer. Just like I did there, she was latched on. You can use the pallet to get the dog off of you. Damn, I thought she would stay in there. That was good. Good, good, good. Double stun. Perfect. Oh, shoot. Okay. Thank you, thank you. The doors are ready, so I can take a hit here. Oh, shoot. See how you can dodge it? It's like a hatchet. Think of it as like a hatchet. The dog just follows the path that she uh, dropped and you can actually dodge it and just pay attention to when she uses her whistle. That means that she's aiming it. Um, and as long as she has her hand up, she's still aiming. Let me jump down from here. Hey, bestie. Oh. She's aiming the dog. Uh, she used search, so it doesn't really do anything. Let's just run through the dog. The dog doesn't attack you in search, so keep that in mind. All it does is it places this little red thing around me. You see that red thing? Basically, if I get hit now while I have this red thing on me, then I'll get put into deep wound. She used her power? No. Yeah. She didn't use her redirect. I'm gonna get hit, but I think that's all right. I don't know where the door is. Help! Where's the door? She's trying to aim the dog. Nice. <gasps> Release me, team! Oh no! He didn't release me from the bite! Ah, oh, damn! <laughs> uh, remember, you as a teammate can actually release your uh, friend from the bite. So it's kind of like Trapper doing the untrap animation on a teammate. You can do that on a teammate that's bit. So this is the new map. The new map does not come with this chapter. It's not a part of this chapter. We're just testing it. Uh, it'll likely come in a future update. So maybe not with this chapter in three weeks, but maybe, you know, a couple months from now. Um, so search would look something like, like this, like, so I can lock it to that gen and he would go and search. And then if anyone was within range of that, then we would get killer instinct. Does that make sense? Mm -mm -mm. Like that. We just got Killer Instinct because he was still searching. So let's go to Chase now. So Chase works similar to a hatchet, right? So right now I'm raising my hand from the survivor's POV. I'm raising my hand. So it's just like a Huntress hatchet when she's raising her hatchet, right? So I'm going to let go. And just like a Huntress, you would greed when the, when the killer does that because I can just do this. Ah, very nice. Very nice. She dodged it. And this is why I say he's not, she's not like knife. It doesn't lock on to the survivor. It basically, um, you have to aim it to the survivor. So something cool that you can do is redirect if you miss. So I'll show you what that looks like. So we're going to send it there. 
I didn't hit it the first time, so I redirected. Did you see how I went into the, the dog's POV? Now that is going to take some getting used to, to get really good at. And I think that's what a lot of uh, the killers currently don't really have a hang of yet. Um, let's see. So we'll try to do chase and we'll try to do redirect again. Bum, bum, bum. Mm. Yeah, see? It's like you have to, if you break line of sight from the dog, it's a good way to dodge that redirect if she does decide to redirect. But I, I like that there's good counterplay to her. It's not, um, it doesn't feel like there's no counterplay to the dog, you know? Here. I believe my perk activates here. Okay, let's see if we can get this. Nice. We could have redirected there. Mm -mm -mm. He's hard to aim at too because the further away the survivor is, obviously the easier it's going to be for them to dodge it, right? So um, it's like a huntress hatchet, right? The closer you are, the less time you have to react to it. Um, so let's try this. Did I get it? Oh, she dodged it again. Do you see how cool that is? Like, I feel like there's good counterplay on the survivor POV. I like that. I like that. So, let's see. And he can vault windows like that. Cool, cool. It's definitely going to be fun. Yeah. And I, the redirect is what I think me and like everyone that's playing her right now haven't really gotten a hold of yet um i feel like once once killers start to get the hang of that i feel like i feel like she's gonna feel a little bit stronger search is basically to find people right so like let's say oh okay we see them over there healing so let's say i want to send the dog there to search i would aim it there and then while i'm on the way there i get a haste which is kind of cool and we we get to know if someone's there so you can send that off to generators so like so that so i can check if there's a, a person on that gen i was really hoping i was really hoping boom, boom, boom. <laughs> nice see we got killer instinct for a second Trust me, once you're actually, like, playing it, I don't really feel like she feels hard to counter, like, at all. I think it, it's not much different than countering Huntress, countering Slinger, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like they did a good job at giving us counterplay. Oh, I'm on the wrong... Oh, freak. I forgot to switch to Chase. I was like, why is she not going? And the dog does not attack you once it's done being sent does that make sense you don't have to be afraid of the dog at all times damn i can't go up it looks like okay that's fine that's fine can she teleport to the dog no she can't teleport to the dog so like okay say i'm searching i send it there i get a haste if i follow the path of his search i'm supposed to anyway I don't know why it didn't give me one there. I know they put a bunch of um, bugs in the patch notes with her. Oh, there we go. There's that haste. See how I get faster? Yeah. That's cool. That's the haste right there. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Get off of that. <laughs> but you do get in the in the dog's POV when you do this. <laughs> See, that was the redirect. I wanted to show you guys how you can use that. I could have lunged at her before she vaulted, obviously, but I want to show you guys that redirect. I think the, the true skill is going to be in, like, perfecting your redirect. Because I feel like that's quite strong. 
On the survivor side, what you would want to do is break line of sight from the dog, basically. Let's redirect. Damn, I still missed that second one. See, you got to do it pretty quick, too. But I feel like once you get good at doing the redirect, I feel like she's going to feel a little stronger. I think it's too early to tell how strong she is because most people aren't really... They haven't perfected that skill yet, you know? All right, let's try this. Oh, she went upstairs. Okay. Mm -mm. See if we can do it here. Stop it! No. Nice. Wonderful. So if the dog hits first and chase, is it an automatic health state? Um, so he does this thing called bite. Hmm, let me see if my teammates are, if, if everyone is here. Let me lock on to one of you guys and show how you can help your teammate. I want you guys to, to see how you can help your teammate with that. All right, perfect. You're going to do it? Okay. So watch this. Uh, we're, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to send the dog to... Oh, wait. You guys are all injured. I think it'll down you. Oh, no, no. I won't. I won't. Okay. Now help your helper. Your teammate can actually get the dog off of you like that so teamwork is gonna be really cool i think with this one um because normally if you get bit by the dog like let's do it there try and take it off by yourself on this next one okay whoever i hit next try to take it off by yourself so you can show how long it takes to take the dog off by yourself okay all right show how long it takes to take it off by yourself look how long the dog lock locks on that's a long time. So if you have a friend nearby and you're like on a pallet loop or something, you can have a friend take it off for you. And it's just like a little, it's almost like a trap or untrap animation like that. See, I think that's cool. That's like a good six seconds. Yeah, yeah. No one's escaping that dog by themselves. No, 100%. Once you've, once you've locked on, he pulls the survivor towards you. So you're more than likely going to take a health state there. Does that make sense? Okay. Like, let's say I miss. Uh, I don't think I'm going to have enough time to do it. Okay, perfect. Let's say I miss there. I can redirect and do that. And bam. I think that's, that's where, like, her skill is going to be, I think. I think it's cool. I like it. Did that kind of help you guys understand how her ability works? Hopefully you guys are a, a little more confident in how she works. It's going to take a little while to get used to. So I think it's too early to really tell how strong she really is until we, um, you know, until we really get a, a good good feel for her and, and get used to using that redirect. Um, but I think she's very fun.